Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Miss Hino's Lego Robotics. Super excited today because today is the finale of the Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics World Race Competition. So today we get to find out who actually won. So if you want to see that, stay with me. And after watching this video, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. Come on, I know you can do it. So this competition has been super fun to watch. It's been super fun to see all the missions and then the videos come in and see what time they came in to see who's ahead. So today you're gonna find out who actually won. So if you remember from the last video, which I'll leave you a link at the end of this video, it was either gonna be Catherine, it was gonna be Jack, it could be Leo. And so they were kind of battling it out here for the last mission. The last mission was called the Grand Finale. It was a super tough mission. So it was one of those things where I kind of gave them this mission and sat back and went, who's going to get this done first? And it was a really tough mission. So let's go ahead and take a look at what the Grand Finale mission really was. Okay, everybody, I'm so excited. This is mission five, your last mission, and it's called the Grand Finale. We're going to, because we're going to use everything that we've used so far. So we're going to use the square, the gray gear, and the basket. So all of these are going to be in base with you. And here is the, the steps. The um, mat is going to be two feet away from base. So I don't know how far this is, but you'll figure out two feet. So here's the first step. You're going to take the basket and it's going to get placed anywhere on this EV3 robot. Anywhere. And then your robot's going to return. You can drive on the mat if you want to. It's going to return. Now, when you're recording this, do not, uh, don't stop the recording. It needs to be continuous. As soon as your robot comes back, then you're going to be placing this on your robot, the square. And then your robot needs to place the square on top of the basket like that. Okay? Then your robot's going to come back a third time. And again, don't cut the video. Make it one continuous video. You're going to then have this on your robot. And your robot's going to drop the gear inside of the hoop. And the hoop it needs to fall through the hoop. Now, when your robot returns, yes, you can alter things. You can change things what you want to. But it's just going to need to be... You're going to have to just keep rolling. It has to be one continuous program where I need to just see that all three all three things happen at once. So, you know, take your time, um, do what you need to do. But this would be the last thing is to put the gear through the basket. And as soon as that falls in, you're good. Okay, so now that you know what the grand finale mission was, let's go ahead and see who turned in what video and what time they turned the video in.
Okay guys, so from the results, here is a decision I had to make. You saw that Leo actually used a black gear. And what I forgot is Spike Prime doesn't have a 40 tooth gray gear. So here's what I thought was fair. Um, because Leo turned it in early, but it didn't have the gray gear, um, and Jack turned his in after, but did use the gray gear, I decided that Jack and Leo should share this Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics World Race Championship together. So co-champions. Let's give it up for Leo and Jack. I just thought it was fair because I, I know how hard Jack worked and I know how frustrated he got because of that 40 tooth gear. It's hard to get it inside of that picture frame. So I didn't want to penalize Jack because of the fact that he turned his video in later than Leo, just because I know there was a difference in the difficulty of that. So I, I hope Jack and Leo understand this and can handle being co-champs together. Um, it's just one of those oversights that I made. I'm like, oh my gosh, I just assumed that the Spike Prime had that 40 tooth gear. So I apologize to both um, Jack and Leo as far as that oversight, but maybe, you know, being coach champs here, maybe that just makes everybody feel a little better about that. So I don't know. I think it was just a great competition overall. And I appreciate all of you guys that participated. I know you guys were busy. I know some of you had school to do, so... It was one of those things where I kind of threw it out there seeing who was going to be able to participate. And I'm so glad you guys were able to participate. And I hope you had fun and enjoyed the journey. And, you know, that's what we do in robotics and first Lego League is, you know, we just appreciate how hard work everything is. And then, you know, in the end, um, whether we win or lose, it's just a matter of, man, that was just fun to be able to compete. And in this case, compete with people from around the world. So that was awesome. So again, Leo and Jack and all of the participants, I just want to thank you guys, but it was just so cool to be able to communicate, get your videos, and then just be able to see that this was a real world competition. So thank you guys for coming with me on this journey of this competition. It was a lot of work. I'm not sure when the next time I'm going to do this. It's just so much work. And, you know, with teaching robotics too, it was just like, whoo, you know, it was, um, you know, definitely worth the work, but it's just, it's tough work. And, you know, stay tuned to see if I ever do a competition like this again, okay? All right, guys, I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.